Hello Edu Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time, here at Edu Explorer we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Today we are looking at the top 10 poorest presidents in Africa. We shall be reviewing the reason why this particular president fall into this particular list of poorest presidents in Africa. We shall also look into the reason why they made this and why they want to set this as priority to leave some kind of legacy. Today we shall be highlighting also those particular African leaders who have made it a priority to leave a legacy of accountability and also fragility. It has become norms for government officials to embezzle as much as they can while they are in office. They see public offices as a jackpot, an opportunity to get rich and to live a life of comfort and luxury. In this particular effort, uh, we shall be reviewing the particular presidents who feel that uh, this is not the way to go. This is true for ground to top in particular in most um, African emerging countries. Even police officers as low as constables and surgeons make it a point to gather as much money as they can. As so, it's no surprise that when we see this superior stealing money that is meant for welfare or other purposes or presidents pocketing money that should go to international or the developmental projects in their different countries. In this particular episode, however, we are not interested in wealthy presidents or anywhere in the world, but in this, we shall be looking as for those who are little or modest in terms of their behavior and with regards to their wealth. We want to highlight those African leaders who have made it a priority, as we just mentioned earlier, uh, to focus on accountability and fragility, thus changing the mentality of still as much as you can, uh, which is widely obtained in the African uh, governmental society today. Without any much delay, we shall just go straight into it. If you are new to our channel, we encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different networks. Number 1. Mohamed Buhari of Nigeria He has been proclaimed the poorest African leader with an estimated net worth of just over $150,000. Well, that raises some important questions because he has five homes and two mud houses in his native village in Darawa, local government area of Kasina State in Nigeria. He also has an orchard and ranch with over 270 heads of cattle, 25 sheep, five horses and poultry farm. Furthermore, his children study in prestigious university in London, all those he claimed he got with his own personal savings. The Washington Post has said in one of its reports that Buhari may be the only leader in Africa with the highest wealth, with the least wealth, so to say. According to the report, Buhari was described as being extremely poor when compared to other sub-Saharan African leaders. It was also reported that the President Mohamed Buhari has five homes and two mud houses in his native homes in Darua government area, as we just mentioned earlier and Ochat also, which leads to uh, people not very sure if actually uh, this is his complete uh, world, but he has presented that over and over. The president was also said to have acquired two automobiles through his personal savings. It was reported that he has no foreign accounts, factories, private companies, nor oil wells. President Mohamed Bahari has shared in one of his top paint manufacturing companies in Nigeria, he also has shares in like in Union Bank and also Sky Bank. His other assets include undeveloped plots of land in one of uh, the ancient cities in northern uh, North Nigeria and another in the southern regions of Nigeria. Number two, John Magnifulis of Tanzania. John Magnifulis of Tanzania is a radical leader in the mold of the Che Guevara and Julius Nyerere era. In Tanzania, they call him the bulldozer. His monthly salary is $4,000, just over $4,000. And he, he was the one that made it that way to be in that particular amount. As soon as he took office, he cut his own salary into three. His predecessor received $15,000 a month. In a telephone, in a televised interview, he said, my salary is, it's, it's just, 
ninth millions, uh, that's two shillings in the country currency in Tanzania, uh, which is basically uh, around the amount we just mentioned. I have not increased and I will not increase because my goal is to serve Tanzania. Its net worth is estimated to be at $1 million. Number three, Saleh Wazwed of Ethiopia. Saleh Wazwed is the president of Ethiopia uh, then and uh, the third poorest president in Africa. She is the first woman to hold the office and the only woman on our particular list today. A career diplomat, she was elected president unanimously by members of the Federal Parliamentary Assembly on 25th October 2018. It will be a terrible thing if the first woman to hold the office of president spent all her time stealing the country's money. So thankfully, that is not what she has done. She's received a monthly salary of 3,000 US dollars and has a net worth estimated at less than $1 million. Before becoming president, Saleh worked, Saleh worked was previously as a special representative of the United Nations Secretary General, uh, Antonio Guterres, to the African Union, and she also served as the head of the United Nations Office to the African Union. This was in the capacity of Under Secretary General of the United Nations. Number four, Edgar Lugu of Zambia. Edgar Lugu is the president of Zambia. He earns a monthly salary of just over 51,000 uh, shillings. Edgar Lugu of Zambia has seen perhaps more than his fair share of controversy as he has faced sharp criticisms with every word and action he has taken. There has been widespread disbelief about his finances as he has declared and many say that he has hidden so much money away from a public account. In any case, his official net worth is estimated at around one to two million dollars. Number five, Jao Manuel Goncava Lorenzo of Angola. Jao Manuel Jonskav Kavansko Lorenzo is the president of Angola. He has held that office since 20, 26 of September uh, 2017. Before that, he was Minister of Defense from 2014 to 2017. In September 2018, he became the chairman of the People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola, the ruling party. Since coming into office as president, he has taken a stern stand against corruption and has been transparent about his earnings. He receives a basic salary of $160 uh, monthly and has a net worth estimated at around $1 million. Number 6. Evaristo do Espiranto Santo Cavajo Sao of Sao Tome, um, Sao Tome. The president Evaristo do Espirono Santalo Cavajo has been president of Sao Tome and Principe since September of 2016. Before that, he has served the country on two occasions as, as prime minister. He was prime minister of Sao Tome and Principe for since January uh, July of 1994 and also up to uh, 1994 October and was again opportune to serve for since 2001 to 2002 March. He has made a name for himself as a public servant who has who wants to better lots of people's life, not enrich himself. He is a member of the Independent Democratic Action Party. He has an estimated net worth of just over one to three million dollars. Number seven. Adama Barrow of Gambia. Seventh on our list of poorest presidents in Africa, Adama Barrow is a real grace to grace story. He is a Gambian politician and real estate developer who is the third and current president of Gambia and he has been in office since 2017. He moved to London in the early 2000s and worked as security guard while studying for qualifications in real estate. He was back to the Gambia in 2006 and found Majum Real Estate. He became the treasurer of the United Democratic Party as opposition party and then rose to become leader in September 2016. He subsequently ran for office and won in elections in which then incumbent president rejected the result. It was only after the international pressure that Adama Barrow was allowed to take office. He receives 3,500 US dollars monthly as monthly salary. 
and has an estimated net worth of around a million dollars. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Number 8. Pierre Nkuriziza, that's the president of Burundi. Pierre Nkuriziza is Burundi's president and also a long-time political strongman. He is also known for having served, served as Deputy Secretary General for CND, that's a local political party. After declaring he will run for a third term, he faced political upheaval unrelated to protest and was also forced to meet with the UN General uh, Secretary to have some conversation. At least six people were killed during his days as a protest. The government shut down many radio stations and also arrested both position parties in with regards to his action. Despite his human rights violation, he is not generally seen as a person enriching himself by underhand means. Of course, his estimated net worth is around a million to about three million dollars. Number nine, Danny Farrow, president of uh, Seychelles. Danny Farrow is a Seychelles politician and public servant with merit. He has been president of Seychelles since 16 October 2016. Before that, he served as vice president of Seychelles for 2010 to 2016. Farrow is a member of the United Seychelles Party. Over the years, he has served in various ministerial capacities, including Minister of Education, Youth Finance, Trade, and also other businesses, public administration, and other areas with regards to communication. Danny Farrow estimated net worth is somewhere around $9 million uh, to about $10.5 million. Number 10. The last but not the least, Idris Deby of Chad. Idris Jebi of Chad is another president in Africa whose name is often thrown around being poor. However, he has an estimated net worth of over $50 million. This is a very reasonable statement because the man has retained power for 27 years and is still counting. That is, that is enough time to become a billionaire if he desired to. And it doesn't matter if the country should burn to burn while doing so. This African leader has also spent his time in office gathering a bad human right records for himself, especially as regards to actions directed towards the opposition. No wonder he remains in power for such a long time. Thanks for joining us again. And these were the number 10 poorest presidents in Africa as considered. Hopefully, we've brought you some very educating information and share that with you. If you are joining us for the first time, we encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. If you feel that there is a precedent that we've left based on our assessment and our analysis, we would like to hear that from you through our comment section. Otherwise, thanks a lot for joining and we're looking forward to meeting you to our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.